getting close to the end. Um, we're out of the sewers now, and we are going into the uh, Order of the Flaming Roses headquarters. And yes, that is still the stupidest name I've heard, at least in recent memory. Um, there's not much strategy going on going on in this video. It's um, unless you don't know where the cloister is, it is the building that you're that you go to that's close by, and it's heavily guarded by the Greater Brothers. By heavily guarded, I think I mean three. You don't fight all three at once, so it's not much of a problem. Um, other than that, there isn't much to say, so time for rambling. Um, I finished Lost the other day, uh, the end of the sixth season, and I'm probably more happy that I don't have to watch the show or hear about it ever again, unless I get s unless someone else starts watching it that I know. But of the people I know, I'm the only one that actually watched it. So, I don't really have to bother with that. Not really a bad show, better than most stuff out there, but way too overhyped. I realize that I'm a little late talking about all this, but whatever. I watch TV and movies when I want to. I also watched the two Clerks movies today. Those were good. I thought the second one was a lot funnier than the first, but the first also was good because it's because it looked like ten people made it basically. But yeah, they're worth checking out. Um, again, there's nothing really going on with this. The Greater Brothers aren't very difficult to kill. Triss is there is more of a distraction. And when you go inside the cloister here, that's the door Trish is standing right in front of. Um, you have to kill the two guards inside to get the key to continue on with the game. And I don't know, I guess I'll leave it here because there's not much going on. See ya. Almost there. We'll find Jacques de Aldersburg in the monastery. Damn, I'm out of potions. Could I ask you to? Geralt, what would you do without me? Wait here. I'll be back in a blink. Halt! No passage! Grand Master's orders! I'm here on a matter of national importance. Shove off! The Grand Master seeks solitude. Sorry, you give me no choice. Tender day! <laughs> Halt! I'm here. I'm shove. Sorry. Behold, my people. They feast at my table, find warmth at my fire, and glow with happiness to be separated from the turmoil of war. You're deluded if you think the sight of women and children will make me leave you alone. I do not intend to deceive you. The white frost approaches, a cataclysm that will bury the world beneath snow and ice. Each night, I dream of icy wastelands and the death of the old civilizations. I've heard Ithlina's prophecy. The cataclysm is unavoidable. Kings prefer to wage local wars to expand their influence, while elves have become terrorists fighting for a lost cause. The world needs a savior, a man of the moment, someone to kindle the flame in people's hearts. You, savior of the world, 
Come. I will show you something. Humans are weak, frail, and inclined toward evil. I shall create a new man, perfect, tempered in the eternal fire. Finished. Because if you are... You doubt me? I do not blame you. I had my doubts too. Yet now, my vision is strong.